Hello. Today I will talk about the Orphic egg and uh, destruction. Destruction. Oh, scary shit. Uh, so to um, to balance this presentation a bit, I'm seriously going to have some uh, love music, um, giving a sense of love. Okay, and uh, uh, yeah, let's do like that to to not get um, lost. Let's not get lost in this world of alchemy. So this is Vengeant Love Yourself again, a new um, video just released or new uh, music just released by him. Yeah, good, good stuff. Um, the Orphic Egg, right? Uh, and this is often mentioned in Alchemy. I didn't read a lot of books in Alchemy. I, I discovered all of this stuff on my own, my own uh, way going my own way you know and um, it just happens to fit pretty well i guess um so why are we here now talking about a freaking egg why well well it's even in our modern modern stuff so you have i pet goat here you have the caring of the egg by this this snake, you know, caring for for the for the thing that grows inside the egg. Are we are we inside a giant egg? Is uh, is an excellent question, which fits well to this Clotus cave idea, you know, you sit inside the cave, you see the shadows dancing on the wall in front of you, but you believe that you see reality, um, and um, the idea of walking out of this cave is synonymous with hatching the egg, evolving. What is what is this egg? What is 9/11? You know, it's a mystery until maybe a month ago, or when did I realize it? I don't know, uh, but. Yeah, 9-11 is about this, this um, fertilization of an egg and more specifically uh, divine essence coming to you and um, impregnating you with life and uh, magical power maybe even, you know. So, why did I start talking about the destruction of uh, things, you know, destruction of, of um, even the egg, you know, but the destruction is actually hatching, you know, the egg will eventually ha hatch, just like, um, just like I will show, you know. Because every time, every time there is a divine uh, essence, there is a, there is a hatching, there is a changing of skin, and the old temples falling, and uh, 
this idea about the church being a stone is um, about about this about this kind of stuff where the it's about how the the end is also a beginning you know rebirth um, and um, improvement and uh, and I, I must say from a point of view of of um, logic logic never hurts uh, so uh, when it comes to rebirth it doesn't necessarily mean that it's in a loop you know you rebirth and and you begin from the same the same way having the same world the same problems it doesn't have to be like that it's it doesn't it has, it's, it's not it's not logically feasible to assume that it must be like that it could simply be a rebirth into something else something maybe even better you know uh, but every time you evolve um, something is destroyed right and we saw this in the world with 9-11, um, uh, we had the towers falling and we have, we have the king's pearl in the middle of the towers. And I will show you at the end of the video how this pearl is, looks like it hatched. And so, but, and you see, Many things are the Philosopher's Stone. In a way you could say that the material world, the material world itself is a Philosopher's Stone, which at some time will be destroyed, right? And so you have the light going within, the, the Orphic egg of the pineal gland, the, limes, the limestone pearl. Or Aragonite pearl of the mind claiming the light for itself taking it to itself and maybe making the world go dark um, there are parts of the Bible talking about how you dis uh, how how um, um, how pottery is destroyed and I believe this this um, destroyed pottery is 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 a um, um, is a metaphor for for the material and the materialists and uh, and the, and this kind of stuff, you know. And it's also synonym um, a synonym for or metaphorical of of the of the temples that will fall and um, you know. And it makes me a bit sad to, to, to think about this, you know, um, that um, maybe in some sense, I mean, you will always try to find an egg, as I said, you always try to find an egg, no matter if you, what you are, it, it's this idea of an egg, which is, um, And, and, and you know even finding your own egg you know there is an egg in you and so if you know it's there maybe it's it's more attractive you know it's an attractive egg to to something divine you know you know what I mean I mean if you if you don't know what you are how can you become even attractive you know if you, you, you see what I mean okay uh, so yeah this is this is some kind of failure you see she fell down just like Humpty Dumpty and broke you see Humpty Dumpty he, he built a wall that is not her um, building how you should build the wall you know and he falls down because he's greedy he wants to build a 
temple out of bricks and mortar, but the mortar is insufficiently made and so his temple will fall. I see the temple of Humpty Dumpty as, uh, as a failed spiritual temple and so he falls and he breaks just like in uh, I Pet Goat when the girl uh, is uh, too focused with the material world. You can see it in her eyes where the numbers are, are going in front of them. And maybe this is a broken pottery, you know. The broken pottery from the Bible is, in some sense, maybe also people, you know. But the Orphic egg, you know, it, it was the snake with the egg. But here, here you can see that the, it's almost as if the snake is nurturing the egg, you know. And uh, I just want to show that some of the art is showing it like this, like a nurturing. And uh, as we saw here, the egg broke in a, in a bad way, you see. They're supposed to exit uh, exit something divine from, I don't know, divine, but I mean, something evolved, you know, is supposed to exit from the or Orphic egg. But here we can see in Ipet Goat, the snake, the snake is confused because there is emptiness. You see, there, maybe it's nothing on the inside. There, there, were, there were never any divine essence coming into this egg just like Humpty Dumpty you know he, he, he breaks because it's in, insufficient and uh, and it makes me think about this also at some time the egg is supposed to break also you know when it's ready and um, and this egg is, um, you know what? I'm going to add something more here. I didn't plan it, but so when when um, I'm adding this on the fly, okay? When Mary Magdalene saw. Um, so um, uh, she said that um, Jesus had risen or um, something like that and so she proved it by ha by making eggs go red you know uh, and this happened because uh, the, the calcium carbonate is I mean it happens for two reasons in my opinion one reason is that the egg is going from the white form of the Philosopher's Stone to the red form where it's ready, you know, it's, it's, it's the most purified form of the Philosopher's Stone. But also red because uh, it, um, it's a little... Uh, phoenix inside right a burning phoenix and uh, you can see this phoenix in other artwork um, we can first translate this right so this art uh, from this alchemical book text is in latin but it says i translated it just before this video and it actually says something like i told you in this other video or these other videos you you're supposed to search for this egg yeah. and, and this egg you, you should care for you see that there's something about an egg always to find it and, and uh, um, 
yeah as i said um, and um, there is fire something about fire right it's they often talk about the fire sword when it comes to this but you can see this artwork actually reminds of this hallway you can see this and you compare with this uh, you see it's the same hallway similar hallway but here we see the egg has turned red you see it's red and it has the phoenix inside compared to compared to Mary Magdalene and, and uh, this egg you see the red egg aragonite egg you know calcium carbonate in the eggshell turning to aragonite which is purified calcium carbonate I've got the, uh, some new subscribers and I'll just show you something uh, let's see yeah so you could say that the symbol for the philosopher's stone is um, wait a moment desktop yeah, here it is. You can see this is the symbol for the Philosopher's Stone. And sometimes it's depicted like... Um, like this. In many movies and so on. And if you look at calcium carbonate, which is lime, you'll see that it has this structure it has exactly this structure and um, it I mean the thing about lime is that it's the philosopher's stone from every perspective that's the thing it's it's freaking irritating if you are a rational person a, a rational person uh, because uh, you say and you can ask yourself why why is it why is this truth so persistent well if you are within a shell like a little um, bird you say and you grow in, against the shell and you investigate the world suddenly all you see is calcium carbonate, which is the shell, you see. That, that's, that's what I can tell you, that's why it's everywhere, because it's um, the ultimate truth, you know. So, now you, now you know. Now you know. Yeah, it's very persistent and irritating. Uh, but, okay, so you have the world egg, which is something that is depicted a lot in the artwork. And, you know, this is what's, in some sense, you, which must um, be uh, fertilized by, by God, you know. But something, but things has to break also, right? Things has to be destroyed what you basically what you love it may be even what you love ha, has to has to disappoint you and it has to crumble or something like that oh maybe this is why we don't know about this because it's pretty hardcore stuff um, and uh, oh just get out of that egg right and, and, and there's a new world I don't know um, no yeah yeah this is the thing the, 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 the towers the two towers 
you, you say some of you ask yourself why the two towers on 9-11 well it has to do with Solomon's temple Solomon's two temples fell on the 11th month the ninth day so there's a 9-11 in relation to the fall of Solomon's temple temples two temples fell on the same day and this is why this is happening because um, because there is a there is a yeah I'll, I'll get to that I'll get to that um, so this below below the twin towers there is this Orphic egg and it it is a manifestation of the metaphysical um, yeah divine essence coming uh, and impregnating an egg you know the king's egg and um it's a good thing so all, all the sudden all the sudden the two towers falling is is an expression of, of something good okay because it means evolution it means improvement you see and this is life life has to do with something transforming from low entropy to high entropy uh, or a, a system a system of the world is in 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 a in a trans transition between low entropy high entropy and when this happens um, there is a transformation of of things going on the transformation itself the metamorphosis itself is the life you know is something that i'm beginning to think that this is what life is life is where the end becomes the beginning that is what life is you see because of this entropy change and Entropy literally means transformation. It do it doesn't mean disorder. Some of you believe some of you that studied physics believe that entropy means disorder. But but it's it's not it's not that. It it, it it's a measurement or it is uh, it means transformation, literally. And so and so um, that is what life is. Life is the metamorphosis. You see, it is, it is, um, yeah. And here, here you can see the hatched egg. You see. Uh, so first we had this, and then it became like that. Okay, that's the end of the video, guys. See you another time. So yeah, the, this is this is the church. You listen to uh, to stuff about that. I hope you like it. See you another time. Bye bye.